Hey everyone, Dave here. Today we are going to be playing through Forage, which is a tiny forest floor inspired set collection game for two players. And this is published by Frog Tree Games. This is available on uh, the Game Crafter. And so what we're going to be doing in this game is uh, trying to collect sets of different types of cards in order to have majorities and be able to score points. So we have a, a deck of cards that come in the game and a bunch of these brown or these black discs which represent stones which are our money. And so each player is going to start off with five stones. And uh, what's going to happen is each turn there's going to be cards that will be coming out onto the forage floor and we will be able to uh, buy cards to put them into our sets and then later on we will be able to sell cards uh, to to gain more stones and then eventually we'll be able to buy either from the forage floor or from the cell pile. So anyways, uh, let me, uh, we're going to get into this and you'll see how the game uh, plays as we go along. So um, we're going to end up going through this deck of cards and then when all said and done we'll have one final uh, buying action and then we are going to do comparisons. Now, uh, we will be scoring one point for each um, card in the particular family that we have the most of. And so the different types of families of cards, we have uh, beetles, and we have mushrooms, and we have berries, and then we also have uh, some snails, and the snails are wilds, and you'll see them come out, and then we'll also be able to score points for identical pairs, and we'll score for snails at the end of the game. So anyways, uh, so what's the first thing that we're going to do is we have a, a d4, and we're going to roll this to see who goes first. So the first player rolled a four, the second player over here, they rolled a one, so here we have the start player. So at the beginning of their turn, they're gonna roll a die, and whatever number comes up, which is a one, one card is going to come up onto the forage floor. And we have an opportunity to buy cards. Now, when cards are out here and we purchase them, um, if we decide to buy from there, we have to buy all of that particular type. So we'll go ahead and we'll spend one, stone and we will pick up this morale and so we are in the lead with the mushroom family by uh, one so and if you can you can tell by the family that it belongs to up at the top so down at the bottom we have the name of the particular mushroom and the scientific name and then we have this really really cool artwork so really really nice so that's the end of the first player's turn second player is going to uh, they roll the four so we have four cards that are going to come out so we have a gooseberry we have a jewel beetle, we have a garden snail, which is one of those wilds, and we have a, a chanterelle mushroom. So we have a one of each type. Now here's the interesting thing. With these snails, uh, they attach themselves to one of the other types of cards, and it becomes one of those in terms of majorities. So this snail, uh, if we choose to buy it with any of these other things, uh, will become that type. So we know that you can only purchase uh, one type of card, but the snails can go along with them. So uh, we're just gonna go ahead and get a, a jump on the insects and we're gonna spend two stones over here. And we'll pick up this jewel beetle and this garden snail will go along with it. All right, so back to the uh, first player. So on our turn, the first thing we're going to do is roll and see how many cards come out. So we have four cards coming out. So we have one, two, three, four. So uh, there, these are beetles up here. Uh, this is a berry, this is a mushroom, this is a mushroom, and that's a snail. Uh, we already know that this player is going after beetles and... Um, so I don't necessarily want to sell, I, I could sell this. Actually, you know what, I think I'm going to do it. Go ahead and do that. Uh, no, I actually have to be able to sell cards. I have to sell two cards in order to get five. I don't even have that ability yet. So I'm going to uh, purchase this turn and I will spend um, two. I'm going to spend two stones to get this uh, calligrapha beetle and the snail eating beetle. And that's it for that player's turn. Over here, we roll the die and three cards are gonna come out. So we have one, two, three. Now, here's an interesting 
interesting thing. Um, part of the at the end of the game, you're going to score points for identical pairs of cards. Well, here's a set of gooseberries right here, and uh, we do have a chance to uh, jump ahead and uh, make an interesting move. So what we're going to do first, we can sell, is we'll sell these two cards. I'm going to sell this beetle and this snail and get five stones. So these two are going to go up into the, uh, there's a sell pile, it's up at the top. Um, I'll adjust the camera a little bit here so you can see up there. Uh, they're going to take five stones. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So they have eight. They have eight stones, and this is actually going to be a, a better move for them. So um, what we're going to end up doing is we're going to buy this snail here and these three berries. So we're going to spend four money, and we're going to jump out um, with the most on the berries. And the fact that we have an identical pair there is going to be uh, good at, for the end of the game in terms of scoring points. So, uh, back to the first player. Now, if we want to choose to buy cards from up here at the top, uh, we can buy them in any type that we want to, but it's going to cost two stones in order to do that. So I have to be really, uh, really careful here. Um, hopefully, well, right now, um, it would be really nice to get some mushrooms, and that might be a move that we might be able to do. So let's first see what's going to have happen. So four cards are going to be coming out here. One, two, three, four. So we've got a couple beetles. There are, however, five. One, two, three, five of the mushrooms. Um, we're going to go ahead and sell sell off these two beetles, make it a little bit more expensive for them to get picked up later on. But uh, we'll take five stones for that. So we have seven money, and we're going to go ahead and spend five of those stones in order to take all of these mushrooms here. So look, we have uh, a pair of chanterelles now. And we have an oyster and a porcini. So we are, we pretty much have, I would say we probably have a good handle on the um, the mushrooms. So um, they're focusing on the fruits right now. So it's going to be, what we're going to have to see what's going to go on with what this player is going to end up doing. Over to this player's turn, they're going to roll the die and one card is going to come out. They see lots of beetles that are coming out there. Um... We know that up at the top, if you want to buy cards from up there, they're going to cost two a piece. This here is not going to be as expensive. We're going to sell, we'll sell, th um, buy three, all three of these beetles. And kind of put this guy in a tough position here to make a move. If he wants to compete now, it's going to have to, it's going to cost him a little bit more money up there. So back to the first player. And we roll and three are going to come out. So we have a raspberry. We have a blackberry, and we have an oyster mushroom. And, uh, well, we're going to go ahead and spend one to grab this oyster mushroom over here. This is another uh, matched pair. So if we look down at the bottom, we have two pairs of chanterelle, two pairs of oyster mushrooms. So there, there's six points right there. Plus, if they have the majority of points with this one, we're already sitting at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven mushroom cards. Um, and then we have three points for each pair. So we're at 13 points just on this one particular type of card. So I think that we've got a pretty good handle on here. We may sell off some of these other ones just to get a little bit more um, fluidity to be able to compete with some of the other cards. So back over to the second player. They're going to roll three cards come out. So we have a garden snail and a morel and um, an enoki. So I uh, think they're going to go ahead and sell off this uh, raspberry and this garden snail up here to take five coins. All right, so we've got some money. Now, one thing that we have to be aware of is that up at the top in the sell pile, back up here, 
is that those snails, because of what type they are, they stay that type. So um, I have them adjusted with them. So we have this garden snail over here is actually a beetle and the other snail over there is a berry. Uh, this guy is looking at, he doesn't want to con let them continue to have more of these mushrooms. We're gonna spend three and take this garden snail with these two mushrooms over here. So this snail is now a mushroom. They have this morel and enoki. So uh, the second player here has a more diverse collection compared to the first uh, player over here who is pretty much just monopolizing on the, on the mushrooms. And we only have one money and it's going to, it's back to their turn. We're gonna have to do something. So one card is coming out um, and we have elderberries. So um, here's an interesting thing with the mushrooms that we have over here in this player. I could sell a Porcini. There's, I don't have a pair of these. And um, I really hate to do this, but I could give up a pair right here, I, but I need money to be able to purchase cards. So what we're going to do is go ahead and sell these two cards for five stones. I'll put them up there at the top. So we've got five, one, two, three, four, five. And we're going to go ahead and spend the three to take these berries over here and get these off the row. Seeing that this guy's only got one goose, one pair of gooseberries, we now have more of the berries and we still have more of the mushrooms for now. So back to the second player's turn. One card is gonna come out. It's a Porcini. Um, we are going to, um, let's see, what do we have out here? So we have a snail, we have an Enoki. So we're just gonna go ahead and spend the two money, two stones, to buy this enoki mushroom and bring it down here and make a pair with those. So back over to the first player, they're gonna roll the die. Four cards are coming out. One, two, three, four. And this is an easy decision for points. We're gonna spend two stones here, two money with it basically, to take these strawberries into our pile over here. First, the second player doesn't necessarily like that because now they're not in control of anything, well, except for the beetles right there. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and roll the, thing, the die. We have three cards coming out. One, two, three. So what's gonna happen now is um, after this turn, uh, we've gone through this deck, we're only gonna be able to buy cards. Um, so we could sell things, uh, but right now it's looking like um, we're not going to have the majority on the mushrooms. We're not going to have the majority on the uh, berries. We do have points though we're going to score. So what we're going to end up doing here is we're going to sell off these two cards. So this mushroom and this morel for five stones. So one, two, three, four, five. We'll come over here going to be able to put us in a better position to score more points because what we can do is uh, we're going to buy these beetles. So there's a beetle, beetle, there's three beetles here. We're going to buy the lady beetle, the giant water bug, and the snail eating beetle for three stones. All right, so the final turn um, all players can do basically is uh, buy um, Buy, make one purchase, one buying action. So this guy here, uh, just to be able to score a point, will spend one stone to grab this Porcini. That's all he had, spending his last stone. And back over here, we have three stones. Um, we will go ahead and spend two stones to grab this snail eating beetle up at the top to be able to score points in a pair. So uh, the game has ended. We're going to go down here and we're going to look and see uh, what we have in terms of scoring. So the first player has, uh, we're just going to put these out in rows here. We've got uh, a morel, a pair of chanterelles, a pair of oysters, and a porcini mushroom. 
down here we have two strawberries and then we have um, these other three berries. So if we look at his points over here, um, the second player has two mushrooms, two berries, and then a bunch of beetles. So they've, they've dominated on the beetles over here, but they have multiple pairs, so that's even better. Okay, so uh, this guy here has one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're gonna score six points for uh, their mushrooms <coughs> and three points for this pair, three points for this pair. That's 12 points. He also has the majority in the, in the berries, so 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And this pair of strawberries is three more points. That gives you 20 points. So 20 points for the first player. Over here, the, uh, we, do not, we have three points for this pair of mushrooms, three points for the pair of gooseberries. That's six points. Uh, they also have the majority of the beetles, so uh, there's seven, seven of those, so seven points in uh, just the beetles. And they also have multiple pairs, so let's take a look at this over here. This is where they're going to make all their points in the like sets. So uh, we have, we'll start with the bot with just the points, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven points, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 points. So the second player won with the strategy of going after uh, and completing sets rather than having a majority. Started off, they were going to just dominate with the one thing. The other player had decided to uh, go for a heavy majority with um, basically went crazy with the mushrooms. Uh, the snails didn't really come into effect in this game, but we do have the snails that are out there, and they would have been used to make uh, some pairs. We would have been able to get points for them, but uh, anyways, this is how you play uh, Forage. So just a neat little set collecting game. Sorry that I have the, the cards spread out over here. I don't have a lot of uh, space on screen to put all the cards out there. But I wanted you to be able to see how the game is played. Um, and it was a really close game between the two players. Only a three-point spread. So, anyways, uh, that's it for uh, the playthrough on Forage. Make sure that you click the link in the video description below. And we will come up with our review video. Thanks. Bye.